YouTube. It's your boy, Anthony Tech here today. Um, now, as you can see, you can see corrupted data files right here. You're probably wondering what they are, but you probably know what they are. Now, I've been working on a way to, like, to open package files without having installed package files and all that. You just have the package file. Now, as you see in my save data utility, I have Multiman and Iris Manager on my flash drive. Probably wondering how's that possible, and you're probably also wondering why is there a corrupted data? Why is it corrupted data? I'll tell you that in a little bit. But <coughs> what you want to do to start this off is copy any one of your save data. It really don't even matter what save data it is to your USB flash drive. Now, um, this does not. Now, um, I'm gonna switch over to my computer real quick. Okay, YouTube, um, I'm back at, I'm on my desktop now, and, um, well, am I, this is my flash drive right here. You, this is the save data we just copied, okay? Or any save data you copy, like I said, it'll work. Okay, so. Um, then what you wanna do is you wanna open this up. No, actually, no, open this up. I'm not gonna put the link in the description because I actually have not figured out how to get this working quite yet but um I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this figured out so yeah um so it's a program called custom firmware eboot and package designer you can probably download this on Google so yeah I'm just saying I'm not gonna put the link in the description because I don't even got the thing um fully working yet so I click package menu which is number two on the keyboard two uh, I fucked up I gotta um. <coughs> now here's the thing you see you have to drag a package file you want into the um, folder see that's what I did I, I dragged the package file into the folder of the program you have to do that so I don't even know why I'm telling you guys what to do because I'm not even really seeing the link to this yet. So, to the package menu, and what you do, well, yeah, unpack, unpack, PKG, click one. Nice, wait for this to load. Kind of sick right now too, because allergy season. I fucking hate it. And you pretty much just name it anything you want. So enter. This don't matter. Just click continue. And um, right here you click open. Okay. Now this is what I did. I went to my desktop and I opened up my new folder too. Or oh, sorry, not my new folder too. I went to my flash drive and open wait fuck. I opened up the new folder new folder one that's what I did and then I opened up the PKD which I'm doing iris manager again and then once I do that once I did that right click on param.sfo or or um just I manager four click extract and then do desktop now once you do that See, I'm a, uh, I got a desktop background setting up, I'm a big fan of her. Okay, um, see, Iris Manager folder, you open this up, see. And this is, this is what I did. I, um, I opened up my flash drive, saved data folder, deleted the param.sfo in here, okay. And um, I drag this one. Now, <coughs> switch over to my PS3 now. Got my PS3 now. So when I go to my flash drive, you can see Iris Manager. Now you'll see two of them instead of one. So um, yeah, 
I'm getting close to exploiting the PS3 XMB, but this might take some time. Now, I know X0 Mods is doing this too, like, he's figuring out a way to do it too. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know him, but he does have a YouTube channel, and he, um, He's, he, I think he's going to get close to hacking it too, or he's going to hack it. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm not going to put the link description to the program because I got to still, I'm still working on getting this to work. So, yeah, YouTube, that's it. Peace.